Well, we've let our painting dry, we've done our sculpting, and this is why you see this big blob of sort of translucent white here. We're going to turn it into hopefully a beautiful hibiscus flower in just a minute. Uh, you see it's dried, but it's also, as I say, translucent. You're picking up some of the color underneath. Now, what I usually do is go over it with my titanium white, and I'm going to mix a couple of colors, but I, to start with, I'm going to kind of turn my canvas just a little bit, and I'm going to pick up my white, and I've still got a little bit of my basically almost a purple lavender blush that I've got right here. We've made that from our white and our dosanine purple. You'll see it very, very light. I'm going to go back over my flower, and you don't have to just leave it flat. You can turn your brush to kind of go in towards the center, and you don't have to really cover up every little bit of the light and dark contrast within the flower that you've sculpted because what's going to happen is when you put your washes over it, the light areas are going to pop out more, the dark areas and recessed areas are going to be a little bit deeper, so it's going to give it a little more of a real feel to your flower. Pick up just some more of my white with just a hint of the blush of the lavender in it. I'm bringing it all down towards the center. Doesn't matter if you go over top of what you've done right in here where I've left it blank because you're going to be covering that up with some of your deeper uh, jewel tones and black. Turning my canvas, going right back over what I've done. And you're going to find in just a minute when I start showing you about the washes, you're going to see where all this texture really comes into play. You'll get some beautiful designs out of this texturing. See, I'm not just pulling it with just the flat of my brush. I'm using the edge. I'm pulling it all the way down until I get to basically right here. Because this is where it switches over and the leaves, petals of the flower that are behind it, since your sunlight is coming from right to left uh, and you're dealing with about a 2 o'clock sun, you're going to come in with a little bit of this being your lightest area of your flower right here at the 2 o'clock line. Gets a little darker as it goes around, not much, very subtle when you've got the front part of the flower. But then when you get back to the back, the next lightest area is going to be at the top, right up in here. And this is going to make it look three-dimensional. Now, as I come around, I've got to think in terms of it getting a little bit darker. So that the darkest part of my flower is going to be right here. It's going to be in the most shade of any of the flower. So I'm going to pick up a little bit of my black, Mars black, and a little more of my white. Just a touch of my yellow ochre, just a little, just to kind of warm it up a little bit, maybe a little more of your white. You have to keep practicing with it, kind of play with it a little bit till you get the right shade you want. And I'm going to start off with a little bit on my brush, which is going to be a little bit lighter shade. Bring it down. I'm just lightly feathering it out. Uh, for you ladies out there that are watching this, it's almost like you're putting makeup on. You're very softly laying. I'm just letting the brush weight pull it down. As I go down a little bit, I'm picking up a little bit more of my black, mixing it up, keeping it warm, but a little bit more shadow, and lightly bring these together so that the deepest area is going to be right in here. And then this will give me a wonderful contrast right in here once I start doing it lighter. Go back in with a little bit of my white, still got the paint on my brush, and lay them together so that you get a nice soft blend so there's no real transition line where shadows are coming in. See what I've done? That's all you have to do. Very, very simple. All right, this is going to give me the back side of my flower. Probably on the very edge just because this is going to have the sun hitting it. I'll come in here with just a little bit of around the tips and just give me a little bit of highlights. Just like this. Pull it down, feather it down. Just like that. 
You don't have to do it on all of them, just a little bit here and there. I think I'll put touch a little bit of my pure white right on the edge, right here, just to kind of give me a little, little break right there. Okay. All right, now that we've got that done, I'm going to turn it back around. And I'm going to stop for just a minute, come back with my paint after I've dried it just a little bit, and we'll put our washes in and the center of our flowers. <laughs>